end of the day, uh, a robot is nothing but a tool, uh, like an industrial robot. Uh, a rehabilitation robot is just nothing but uh, but a tool to to aid and aid and assist in the recovery um, of a person of a person's rehabilitation. Uh, to the right, what you see is not actually a robot. It's a, it's a functional splint, uh, which we do for gross motor training. Uh, the gentleman is actually trying to take a grasper ball, uh, pass it through the hoop, and drop it. It's a very simple task for, for you and me, but for a patient, it's a very, very complex task. Uh, because, end of the day, it, it, this happens all of a sudden. They would have been normal walking about. The next day, they could not actually move their arm. It's, it's a shock to the system. Not to the system, but the whole life is kind of um, affected. So, it's not just about losing movement. But it's actually um, losing a complete kind of identity of being human, of being able to move as well. I mean, gait has different parameters. It has step length, stride length, cadence. Um, it's, it's one of the most difficult things in physics to quantify. very similar to real walking, uh, except the hips. This is a, a New Zealand device called this Rex. Um, it was developed by two Scottish engineers based in New Zealand. And uh, uh, someone can actually stand up, it has plenty of gyroscopes in it, and it will actually do a very small kind of walking motion around it. And you can Google it, you will have plenty of YouTube videos um, for this device as well. I'd like to finish, uh, this is like... Um, one has to kind of learn to crawl and walk before one has to learn to fly. A lot of research at the moment in robotics, people are trying to fly. So uh, uh, hopefully someday I'll be able to um, make someone learn to fly, walk and fly.